It's always funny when people know you because they know your tendencies. Right before I started uh, shooting this video, I went to go brush my hair and my wife was like, oh, she said, you're getting ready to work, ain't you? And I said, oh, don't act like you know somebody. She's like, you're getting ready to work, ain't you? And I said, yeah. And she was like, see, I knew it because you, oh, you brush your hair more for when you're getting ready to work than when you're actually getting ready to go out. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. Hey, again, the NFL chick, when she says something, we got to listen. We got to listen because she don't say nothing but facts. What she speaks is truth. Because even somebody who doesn't have the best credibility even backed up what she said and even doubled down on it. Let's see what Jason Lock and Four had to say. And again, we know it's Jason Lock and Four, but we know that what he's saying is real because the NFL chick, she said it first. Anyway, he says, after turning down multiple offers from many teams, including a more lucrative package from an AFC North club, Hmm. Justin Houston reached out to John Harbaugh this week to convey a willingness to come to Baltimore, his top choice for considerably less than market. Seems like a fit. Now, um, let's just break this down because there is a lot that's said here uh, in a little bit of words. So after turning down multiple offers from many teams, so people have not only reached out to Justin Houston, but have tried to sign him, have given him contract offers. That means it's real money being offered. So after turning down multiple offers from many teams. So what that means right there in itself is that not only, say for instance, not only was it five teams offering, offering him a deal for, from each team, but it could be five teams offering him one or two deals or three deals. They could have come up with multiple contract offers per team. But anyway, uh, and then it says including a more lucrative package, so a package worth more money, including a more lucrative package from an AFC North club. So, hmm, who could that be? What AFC North team could possibly offer Justin Houston a more lucrative deal than the Ravens? Well, everybody could. Because, well, maybe not the Steelers, because Steelers, just, they really be strapped for cash, man. Uh, Steelers are one of those teams that they... <laughs> They definitely strapped for money, man. Like Ravens, they one of the teams that say they're strapped for money just because they don't want to spend it. But they got it, but they don't want to spend it. But Steelers, they really be strapped for money. And Browns, they, I think because of all the turnover that they've had over the years, they were able to splurge a lot over these past couple years. But now they're going to actually have to pay some people on their second contracts besides Miles Garrett because, you know, he obviously got his. But now it's about to get real for, for Cleveland real, real soon. But anyway... So you would have to think that either this other team might have been the Steelers. Uh, I would say Bengals. And it's a possibility it could be Bengals. But I, I would have to think it was the Steelers. Because Browns, they got uh, Jadavian Clowney. They added him. And, and, you know, Browns, they like building super teams. And I ain't mad at that. So it could have been them. But I'm thinking it's between Browns and Steelers. Two teams who also are going to be competitive this year. But anyway, so he turned down a lucrative package, uh, a more lucrative package from an AFC North club. But this is the kicker right here. Justin Houston reached out not to Wink Martindale. No, not to other players on the team. No, 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 no. He went to the head honcho, Harbaugh, Triple H. Ah, shout out to WWE. Anyway, he said Justin Houston reached out to John Harbaugh this week to convey a willingness to come to Baltimore. So he reached out to the head coach and said, hey, come on, baby, please, please give me a shot. That's what they tell you to do, though. See, I like Justin Houston's approach because he's going old school. One, because uh, you can't be a prideful person if if you're willing to reach, reach out to the head coach. You cannot be a prideful person. But he's going old school because I remember before, um, back I guess I sound like one of them old heads. I guess because I am an old head. But back in back in my day, um, when we would have to apply for jobs before everything was online, you would have to fill out a physical application, an actual paper application. And once you completed it, you would either do it right there at the store or the restaurant, wherever you were applying that. I, I've done it at multiple places, got denied plenty of places too. But anyway, you would take, you would fill out the application and then you would take it back uh, to the company and hand it in to them. But then what they always told you to do, my mom told me to do it and a lot of other people told me to do it too. Hey, ask for the manager. Ask for the manager. Ask, hey, may I speak to the hiring manager, please? 
most of the time the, the people would say no the companies would say no oh they're not available right now oh they're not in right now oh they're not here right now but i can take your application and give it to them but justin houston is taking that approach where he's asking to speak to the manager and I ain't mad at that. So it said he reached out to John Harbaugh this week to convey a willingness to come to Baltimore. So say, hey, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. I'm with it. But then on top of that, and it says it's his top choice. But it says for considerably less than market. So you know how you go to them uh, seafood restaurants. I mean, we back here at the crib, so I mean, seafood is only right. But you know how you go to them seafood restaurants. And it, they, it happens down in Florida, too. I mean, Florida by the water as well. But when you go to those restaurants and you want maybe snapper, you want whatever kind of fish you want, whatever your preference is. But they'll have some fish for certain prices. They may have like fried fish uh, for like $30. They may have Chilean sea bass for like $40 or something like that. They may have salmon for $30, too. But then you see these other fish, this other fish on the menu. And they don't have a price next to it But it usually says MKT MKT And you could think like what? Is it a Mortal Kombat fish or something? But no It's market price Market price Market value So it all depends on so many factors How much you're going to pay for that fish Because it's not always worth the same It's not always going to be the same price every day It just depends on the market and it's the same way in the NFL, especially when it comes to the quarterback position. But when it comes to a lot of positions, but especially quarterback, is it's not about who the best is at that current time. It's not, it's not about that. It's usually, usually never about that. Nine times out of ten. It's about timing and it's about the market and the timing of the market. And with this timing, with Justin Houston, it's saying that Ravens are his top choice. And he told John Harbaugh that he wants to come to the Ravens for considerably less than market. So he's willing to play for less money. Willing to play for less money. Again, had other offers out there on the table and more lucrative offers out there on the table. Even more lucrative offers within the same division. But he said, no, I don't want to go there. Mm -mm. I want to come to the Ravens. Shout out to Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey ain't the Ravens players ain't even got to pitch Justin Houston now. He's pitching himself. Marlon Humphrey ain't got to go on Twitter and say come to the Ravens. Justin Houston is already doing it. So we're gonna see how this thing goes, man. This <laughs> we're gonna see. It's funny because somebody commented on the last video is Brianna Jackson. She said, uh, "See, every time someone says they want to play for us, then they end up signing with a different team. So I'm good. So she don't even." She, she don't even want to get her hopes up And I ain't mad at her I ain't mad at her at all I ain't mad at anybody who don't want to get their hopes up That is fine Because we done been through so many uh, free agent players we done, we done seen it so many times We done heard it so many times Ravens are interested in this Ravens are interested in that And then nothing happens And then we're like, oh, okay oh, yeah, There goes another one um, But we'll, we'll see what happens Now, uh, before I get out of here um, I know another thing a lot of people been talking about Why defense? There go Ravens on defense again. There go Ravens doing it on defense again. Why they, this uh, situation where a player actually wants to come here? Um, Ravens are a team that's known for defense. Ravens are a team that's known for getting the most out of players. Ravens are, are when it comes to defense. Um, that's their pride and joy. Uh, so we can understand why Justin Houston would want to come here. Uh, now somebody did say, well, <laughs> of course it is going to be. It is just going to be a defensive player when it comes to the Ravens. It ain't going to be an offensive player, but. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, this will be the year where th that changes, where offensive players, they want to come here. Not just offensive linemen, but offensive players. They want to come here, too. And it's not a last resort type of thing. Because we know with Sammy Watkins, just to be straight up, it, it was a last resort thing. Ravens brought in Sammy Watkins, but they were looking at other people. Then the Colts brought in Sammy Watkins, but they were only bringing him in just to make T.Y. Hill and put that pressure on T.Y. They used Sammy Watkins, straight up. So Sammy Watkins, and then it was said that the Texans were interested in him. They never brought him in for a visit. So we were the, uh, the last or really only resort. Um, so we'll see what happens, man. Uh, so it is exciting to think about because now, like, it's really, it's really seeming like this is going to go down. It really seems like it. Um, but we just wait and see. So, if you don't want to get your hopes up, though, I completely understand. I, I completely understand because it can be a little painful. 
especially if it's somebody that you want. Now, real quick, again, before we get out of here, another good point. Z, cause that's why <laughs> y'all be making some fire points. That's why I love Team Keep It Clean. My guy, uh, Bio Laws, and he, uh, whenever he comes through, whenever he makes some points, he makes some fire points. He said, I still think Houston would not be a great fit in Martindale's system. As he is a pure pass rusher. I believe he's a good run stopper too, though. But he said he's a pure pass rusher. In Baltimore, he would have to drop into coverage time to time, something he's never shown he is great at. This is one of the few drawbacks of an intricate and exotic system. Uh, the trickier your playbook, the harder to find good fits on the market. And this is not a criticism of Wink at the least. I love him as our defensive coordinator. So that's something to think about, too. But, um... If he is just going to be a pure pass rusher, if that's the case, who knows? We, we Hopefully, we'll get the chance to see. Um, but if he would just be a pure pass rusher, then that means he would be fresh. Because if he was not an every down linebacker, and again, if he's willing to take less than the market value, then for you to have a pure pass rusher, and like I said in yesterday's video, if for you to have somebody that has put up consistent production, consistent production as a pass rusher of closing finishing with sex we ain't even look look to see his pressure that he got over the years but we we seen he has closed so much with getting sex that could be a beautiful thing you bring him in on second and long you bring him in on third and long and he's fresh he's fresh so i think it could still work out uh for sure so we'll see if it happens again with, with Jason Lockham for first it was NFL chick though got to give her her credit because she was the one that said it first but first it was her last night and now it's Jason Lockham forward this morning um just every tweet that we see everything that we hear now it actually does seem like it's gonna happen it seems like it but again um seeing will actually believing seeing will be believing Tried to say something fire and it ended up backfiring. But anyway, um, I will see y'all later. Shout out to everybody that's going to the bank. I'll see y'all boys at the crib in a little bit. We out.